Excellent. Well, you have seen the introduction now. We um, are here to talk about the first law of the indices. And in my previous um, video, I said, well, the first law is a to the power m times a to the power n is a to the power m plus n. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a general law, which uh, if you want, you have to remember. But truly, you don't have to remember anything if you understand what you're doing. And 30 years down the line, you will still be able to answer these types of questions. Okay, don't get scared of this, all these A's, M's and N's. Let's have a look, what does this mean? I'm gonna ask you the following. Um, I'll do that in red. If I have, for instance, uh, y to the power three times y to the power two, yeah? Now, it's important you know, with this first law of the indices is that the bases are the same, yeah? They're, if they're both an A, for instance, if they're the same, then you add the indices M plus N as the answer. Now, is the base the same? Absolutely, it's the same. So the answer would be y to the power 3 plus 2, so y to the power 5. Now I'm going to show you why it is y to the power 5. y to the power 3, what does that mean? What does y to the power 3 mean? Yeah. Does that mean 3 times y? No, it does not mean 3 times y. y to the power 3 means y times y times y. Yeah, do we agree that? Yeah, indices, good. Times, let me make that a big time sign. Y to the power two, now what does Y to the power two mean? That means Y times Y. So I've just rewritten this question here yeah, and I've kind of expanded it and I said, just to show you this, this, this law, that Y to the power three is Y times Y times Y times Y to the power two, Y times Y. So how many of those y's do I multiply with, yeah, with, with themselves? One, two, three, four, five indeed. So that is y to the power five, which is three plus two indeed. Yeah? So if the bases are the same, you add the indices. Okay, so really that makes complete sense. Now let's have a look at another question. For instance, a to the power Four times a to the power two. Now, I'll do that one more time. The bases are the same, so this is a times a times a times a times a times a a times a. It's a little bit small, yeah. But those are one, two, three, four, five, six a. So a to the power six. Yeah, you add the indices. Now, of course, I'm not gonna write this out every time because if I have c to the power 21 times c to the power 50, for instance, am I gonna write down c times c times c times c times? No, of course I'm not gonna do that because I realize now if the base is the same and if it's a multiplication, I add the indices. So the answer to this is c to the power 71. You're absolutely right. Now, I want to emphasize again on the fact that the base needs to be the same. So, a to the power four times b to the power three, is the base the same? No. So can I apply the first law of the indices? No. The answer to this question would be a to the power four b to the power three, you kind of just glue those letters together, yeah? We take out the time sign because we are a little bit lazy, but that means a to the power four times a, or b to the power three. I cannot simplify that into, let's say, one uh, in exaltation because the bases are not the same. If I have a to the power four times a to the power two times b to the power five, the answer to that would be a to the power 6, b to the power 5. All right, let's go to the next video and I'll just give you some example questions where we're going to apply the first law of the indices. See you there.